carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome. And so this is a condition of the median nerve. So if you have your thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky, okay. So you have a really big nerve right there. And that we call the median nerve, right? And that median nerve is liable to get compressed by the muscles that are found on your palms. And if you're partaking in any activity that requires repetitive movement, like if you're a stenographer, if you type a lot, if you use your hands in fine motor movements and intricacies continuously, that, those muscles on the sides are gonna compress that median nerve. And that's how you develop carpal tunnel syndrome. Statistically speaking, it happens to people who are overweight as well, as opposed to people who are not overweight. So more so in the obese as opposed to the non-obese. And you have to consider what's the manifestations, what's gonna be part of your data collection. And that's gonna be your neuropathy, okay? And it's gonna be including um, some paresthesia to this part of the hand, including your thumb, your index, your middle, and part of your ring finger according to your book, right? So they're gonna have that paresthesia. And that paresthesia is the pins and needles that are developing because of the damage or the compression to the nerves, right? So it's not like full on neuropathy where your nerve is damaged, it's just inflamed because of that repetitive movement. And so when we're talking about data collection, okay, continuing, there is something called the tinnel sign. And the tinnel sign is when you get the median nerve where it's located, and you as a nurse, you tap on that base of the palm, and the patient will experience paresthesia and numbing to those affected extra, uh, digits. And that's how we know that this patient most likely has tinnel sign. I'm not sure if it's one or two ends, but you guys should get the gist, okay? So that's your tinnel sign. That's how we know this patient is positive for carpal tunnel syndrome. And one of the interventions that we have for these patients is surgery, okay? We have to shave off some tissue. We have to reset that median, the, the, the sensory aspect of the median nerve or remove any tissue that's harming it, is what I want to say, so we can stop having that paresthesia. So that's gonna be your carpal tunnel syndrome, folks. You wanna make sure that these patients also wear those hand braces so they can limit the movement to decrease the irritation to that median nerve. I hope that kind of helped out, folks. Please follow me at Learn NCLEX now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Anything you can, and please spread the word. I hold uh, Zoom tutoring sessions one-on-one, -on -one, so please hit me up for the details, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.